Hi, Eli. Good morning. Today we are going to read Farm Animals and Grandma found Babe the pig who wanted to come listen too. So let's put Babe right here. Whoop. Right there? No. I'll but have a Babe will be on Grandma's lap. All right, Farm Animals. All right, by Hans Helwig. Here we go. Early in the morning, the roosters crow. Then the farmer knows it's time to get up. Roosters strut around the barnyard, acting as if they are in charge of everything. They puff out their chests and look very proud of themselves. They're so pretty. Cows graze in the pasture, eating grass and clover. Some kinds of cattle are raised for milk, they give. Other kinds of beef. Oh, other kinds are beef cattle. They are raised for meat. Male cattles are called bulls or steers. In the barn, a mother cow watches over her newborn calf. A calf can drink its mother's milk for nearly a year. But when it's a few days old, the farmer usually starts feeding the calf a special formula. Then people can use the cow's milk. Goats give good milk too. It is especially good for making cheese. The female goat is sometimes called a nanny goat. The male is called a billy, a billy goat. Baby goats are called kids. A chicken's age, eggs take three weeks to hatch. The mother hen keeps her eggs and her chicks warm by sitting on them. When a hen finds something good to eat, she calls her chicks by making a clucking sound. Turkeys are bigger than chickens. The male turkey, called a tom, has very fancy feathers. A tuft of feathers hangs from his breast. Most turkeys are sold at holiday time for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. There's a little tuft on his neck. Farmers raise horses for riding or racing. Some horses do heavy farm work, like pulling wagons. A young horse is called a colt. It is fully grown when it is about five years old. Donkeys and mules are smaller than horses, but they are strong. And they don't eat as much food as horses do. They pull carts and carry heavy loads. Donkeys and mules can sometimes be stubborn, and they also like to kick. Oh, look, he's kicking the dog. To protect her newborn kittens, a mother cat keeps them in a secret place, sometimes in the hayloft. When the kittens are old enough, she teaches them how to hunt for mice. Rabbits make good pets, but farmers also raise them for their fur and for meat. Rabbits live in big warm hutch on a bed of clean hay. Little rabbit kits like to dig holes in the hay. Oh, they're called kits, little baby rabbits. Farm geese make a loud honking noise. They are not always friendly. Underneath their smooth, shiny feathers, geese have soft, fluffy feathers called down. Goose down is used to stuff pillows and quilts. Look at the goose. Oh, there's the pigs. Full-grown pigs are called hogs. They live in a special pen called a sty. Hogs have small eyes and cannot see very well, but they can smell food from far away. Ducks have webbed feet that help them swim. Little ducklings stay close to their mother. They can swim and walk on the day they hatch from their eggs. Oh, that's interesting. Sheep stay together in flocks. Their soft fleece is made into yarn and warm woolen cloth. Male sheep, called rams, sometimes have big curved horns. The little lambs do not have horns yet, but they like to play or pretend to fight, just like the grown-up rams. They're fighting right there. A dog can help the farmer herd sheep. The border collie makes a sheep move to a new pasture or into a pen at night. When the farm is quiet, the collie guards the sleeping sheep. The end. Did you like it? That was interesting, huh? Farm animals. Grandma loves you. Mwah!